today I want to discuss something that I think a lot of us struggle with. Um, it's something that we want somebody to fix for us. And well, the truth is we have to solve our own problems. We can't expect somebody to do it for us. So if you're struggling with quitting drinking and you want somebody to try to tell you to quit drinking, that's not gonna work. If it's a problem that you can't figure out on your own, then you're gonna have to deal with it. You're gonna have to figure out when you're ready to give up this habit, this addiction, this problem, and deal with it. So we create our own problems and we're the ones that have to solve them. If you're the one, if your mom tells you to quit drinking, you're probably just gonna laugh at her and you're probably just gonna drink more. I mean, that's what I did with my husband. He would tell me, hey Megan, please don't drink that much tonight. If we were out somewhere, like, cause obviously he didn't want me to embarrass him. Um, and so what do, you, what do you think I did? Well, I definitely didn't watch how much I drank. Uh, so that's the problem. You have to be the one to like think to yourself, how much am I drinking? Am I drinking too much? Why am I drinking? What triggers me to drink? And to start like focusing on those things. And maybe once you're done, you know, it's not gonna be an overnight thing. It's gonna take quite a while to figure these things out. You just have to keep track of when you get home from work, is there something triggering you to drink? Is there stress that you're dealing with? Are there unresolved problems that maybe you could figure out how to solve and you just choose not to? Are you blaming everybody else for your problems and not taking responsibility for your own actions or behaviors. I mean, there's so many problems in life. Why let alcohol be one of them? Is there a problem in your life that makes you drink? Is it your relationship, your marriage? Is that something that you can control? You are in control of your life. You are, if you're so unhappy in a situation, you have the control to figure it out and leave that situation. Nobody told you you have to be stuck there. So if you're drinking to drown your misery, that sounds pretty miserable. It's just gonna make you more depressed. And I hate to break it to you, nobody's gonna come and save you. You have to want to solve these problems on your own. Unfortunately, sometimes it's too late and we drown ourselves in our problems with alcohol and there's no way out. We become addicted to it. It becomes a horrible crutch. And I used alcohol as a crutch. I thought, you know, it would be, I would just wanted to numb myself sometimes. The chaos of the noise, like once everything starts getting loud and crazy, then I'm instantly triggered. My anxiety is through the roof. And what did I want to do? I wanted to drink. Well, that was my problem. So I've learned to take myself out of the situation. My coping tool for the chaos is I go and hide in a quiet room. And then I calm myself down and pull myself back together. Yes, the noise is a problem for me. And I'm the only one that control how I react to it. Our problems don't define us. Alcohol doesn't define us. We are all just trying to get by problem after problem. I mean, I had some problems a couple of months ago and I learned that through this whole entire journey, the way I reacted to these things was completely on me. And if I would have been drinking, it would have caused so many more issues. I would have been very reactive, more than I already was. However, without being reactive, I pulled myself out of the situation and disengaged with all of it until I was ready to, because if I would have been drinking alcohol, I would have not been, this problem would have not been solved. Let's just say it, 
that. Is there, have you had problems in your life where you just think that alcohol is going to solve it and make it better because you just don't know how to deal with it? Well, here's a coping tool for you. Breathe, breathe through it. Listen to, right now I'm listening to Codependent No More and it is probably one of the best books I've listened to, especially for those of us that have a problem with alcohol because these deep rooted things come from within. They are our problem and we decide to be codependent on people, on materials, on substances, and it's a hard one to break, but you have to realize that if you can just love yourself and be like, give yourself self care, we have to take care of ourselves. We can't expect somebody, we can't expect your wife to constantly take care of you. You can't expect your husband to constantly take care of you. I mean, what does that do for you? I mean, do you rely on your parents to take care of you and fix all your problems, your spouse? I know that we want to depend on people so much, but it comes down to your dependency on people and not being able to do anything for yourself, just kind of like your dependency on alcohol. You're so dependent on alcohol, you don't know how to let go and do things on your own because you have a problem with it. Simple as that. I had a problem, I faced it. I don't know, by God's grace, I didn't ever want to touch it again. Too many people decide to stop drinking and go back and stop drinking and go back. And it's just the cycle. Your problem is you quit drinking and then you decide that you're gonna be fine and you're gonna have a sip. You're gonna change the alcohols that you were drinking and not think that it's gonna be a problem. Well, guess what? That one sick sip of the different alcohol is still gonna lead you right back down to the alcohol that you had an issue with in the first place. So there's your problem right in front of your face. Any alcohol that you decide to drink after you quit drinking is going to still be a problem for you. I mean, wouldn't it be nice to not be addicted or dependent on alcohol? Yeah, too many of us live our life addicted to alcohol and we won't wake the F up and get on with our lives and solve our own problems. We think that the world owes us everything and I'm just, you know, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do and nobody's gonna tell me what to do and you tell me not to drink, I'm just gonna drink more, my way or no way. I mean, it's just so many disgusting things when it comes to alcohol. And did I know this before I quit drinking? Well, not really. I didn't realize how much alcohol actually has a hold on people until I was able to let go of it. Let me just go back a little bit. I didn't go to rehab, I didn't do AA. I didn't do any of these outpatient things. I wasn't addicted per se, and I wasn't dependent on it. Physically dependent on it, I was not. Mentally, I was. I didn't have withdrawals. I didn't need medication. I simply just needed a community and a challenge. That is how I did it. And then I took that challenge and I ran with it. And then I looked back and said, I didn't realize I had a problem with alcohol until I realized I had a problem with alcohol. Is that you? Are you in that phase where you don't realize you have a problem with alcohol? You don't realize what it's doing and all the problems that it's freaking causing in your life and you're the only one that holds the key to letting it go? Are you miserable with your freaking life and think that, you know, just one day out of the blue, things are just gonna get better without you doing anything. No, that's not the way this works. You are in control of your own problems and solving them and alcohol is in your control. So you just have to be ready to take it on, face it and lead your own life. Nobody else is gonna lead your life. I can't help you. I can inspire you, I can motivate you, I can encourage you, I can tell you stories. But until the day that you decide that you have a problem with alcohol, you're not gonna change. And it was that moment, I think I even have it on my Facebook stories. Um, I think it was August 25th, 2023, is when I decided to dump down all the alcohol. I had started 75 hard on July 10th, 
of 2023. And by August 25th, I dumped out all the alcohol out of my house into the drain and never wanted alcohol again. In those, in that month, that's when I decided, because I did 75 hard, so I couldn't drink. And then I realized throughout those several weeks that alcohol was a problem for me. And in that first video, I don't know if any of you have seen it. If you have, if you haven't, if you haven't, go watch it. I was the drinker. I had a problem with alcohol and I did not want to admit it. That is the, that is the truth. And until you admit that you have a problem with alcohol, your life is never gonna get better. You're gonna constantly have problem after problem. You're gonna be miserable, you're gonna be unhappy. And I promise you that on the other side of alcohol is a whole entire new life, a happy life, a healthy life, a more present life. Your kids will be involved with you again. You'll be involved with your kids again. I mean, you won't be the victim in every situation because let's be honest, alcohol definitely makes us play the victim card way too often. Oh, alcohol made me do it. Oh, I said that because I was drunk. Guilty. I acted that way because I was drunk. Alcohol, I, we blamed our problems on alcohol, but really our problem was us drinking the alcohol. It was us. We were the problem. And nowadays I, I'm stronger mentally, physically. I'm happy, men, happy and I don't feel depressed all the time. It's like, okay, so here's the thing. Alcohol makes you, gives you a different type of anxiety. I have noticed that. And I, it is a depressant. We all know this. If you don't, look it up. It's not rocket science. So speaking of rocket science, when people, when I tell people that I, how I quit drinking, I just quit drinking. Honestly, I just quit drinking. And there's no huge how, why, what did I do? Literally, it all started one day. I couldn't wait till 75 hard was done. And one day it just clicked. I was, I was done. I was done drinking. I stopped waiting for day 76 so I could have a watermelon margarita and moved on with my life. Me and alcohol got a divorce. That is what happened and it was probably the best decision I ever made when I sat down and realized that alcohol was the problem. So my, my, like, I want you to really think about it. I want you to get a journal, start journaling, maybe what is causing your triggers, what's making you drink, do it for a week. And it'll like narrow down what is causing you to drink. If every single day you say your job, maybe you should quit your job and find a new one. I mean, don't quit your job, like find a new one and, and then quit your job. If it's, you know, your house is dirty all the time, then maybe like clean your house. I mean, there's just so many things that you can do, but I want you to take a journal, your phone, I don't know, like put it in the notes in your phone. And I want you to, every single day that you take a drink, I want you to write down why you took a drink. What made you drink? Well, what made you drink? Yourself. But narrowing it down, I think is the best thing that you can do. And maybe it's yourself. Maybe by that week, you realize that it's yourself and you are unhappy with yourself. Guess what? You're the problem. You have to let alcohol go. The end, pretty much. But. So your activity for me, I want to see how you guys that are struggling with alcohol, I want you to, I want you to journal every single day what triggered you to drink and then see what the outcome is. And maybe you can narrow it down and maybe that'll help you be able to quit. Maybe looking within yourself will be the answer to you quitting drinking. It's not everybody else around you, it is yourself. Unfortunately, we wanna blame everybody for our, our problems and be the victim in every situation in life, but we are our own problem in life. We're the only ones that can solve the problem and let go of alcohol and be a better person, be a better parent, be a better friend, be a better colleague. I mean, there's so many things that life brings without alcohol and pretty much it's not being miserable anymore. 
So please journal every single day what you're going to do to drink and let's get to the root of it. If you like my video, please like and subscribe. Please comment and please share. I would love if you guys could share so we could reach more people to help more people quit drinking. And thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it.